Coming up, the flooding in Texas, not an act of mother nature, but a result of climate change, are global warming activists using this tragedy to push a green agenda. That debate, 60 seconds. Rescuers still out searching flooded towns in Texas, but already some are blaming this disaster on climate change. Gary B. Well, Brenda, it's like in the late 1800s when they were selling snake oil. Look, the fact is the temperature changed from 1998 to now in the world. We're one degree cooler. There's been no perceptible shift in the climate. In fact, though, the government bills us $22 billion a year to fight a problem, A, we don't have, and B, they don't know how to solve. It is the snake oil salesman of 2015. Jamil? Well, he says snake oil salesman. I think these are scientists. I'm not sure where uh, Gary got his climate change degree. We can't keep our head in the same. Climate has been disrupted. We are seeing that impact. I am blocks away from where serious flooding happened in Austin, Texas. And we keep seeing these, these issues. And if we want to say we're afraid of the truth, that's one thing. But denying it... Okay. Not effective. John? Look, 1935, uh, there was a much worse flood in the state of Texas. 1931, millions died in a flood in China. 1900, you had a hurricane hit Galveston that was much worse, one of the worst natural disasters ever hit. The disasters have been going on for quite some time. And what kills the climate change movement is the fact that they use these disasters for political motives. I agree that we need, we're putting stuff in the air that we shouldn't do. We should have an alternative to something past a fossil fuel future. But you have this problem with climate changers who use political disasters for political reasons. And your front man, Al Gore, was sprayed with human repellent at some point. And anything he says, people just want to disagree with. They hurt their own cause. Right. Okay, Jonas. Look, in the 1500s in L.A., it was drier than it is now. I don't know what is a historical pattern and what is man-made caused. All I know is there's no solution to man-made causes. We're not going to stop them from burning stuff in China. But the insurance industry in America is very worried about this change and wants to do stuff about it. And we have to get ahead of it and not just argue about it because it, we, there's gonna, it's going to do this. It's going to keep getting worse. And you have to get ahead of it so you don't have floods and death and damage and billions of dollars of damage every okay. year. Okay, Ashley, 20 seconds. My heart goes out to those that are in Texas and dealing with this right now, but I also don't think that this is a policy window for anyone to use destruction and tragedy to be able to bring about climate change initiatives right now, especially as Gary had mentioned, science right now is not on the climate change side, right. and it's a natural disaster. That's, That's exactly what it false. is, nature. Okay. All right, thank you guys, and thank you, Ashley and Jermu, for joining us. We appreciate thank you. it.